Standing at 15 foot tall and 1,000 pounds, we have the ugly, we have the indomitable, we have the juggernaut! <laughs> I don't think necessarily putting a grill inside of a building to use is the peak of our technological advancements. Oh wait, hey! Hi everybody and welcome back to State of Decay 2 Heartland. I am Rovernaut and I missed you. So, picking up where we left off in the last episode, we came back to base and we discovered quite a little, well, a little mystery. You see, we found Santos, but he says everything is fine and his radio keeps going down and doesn't seem to last but he also doesn't necessarily seek out help however new bit of a uh, new turn of events we have found what oh that's uh that's our buddy quincy so over here as you see standing below us is Keisha. Keisha, as you well know from the last episode, came from Santos's base. So she ran all the way over here because she says she needs our help with something. So let's just go ahead and jump over to Quincy. Uh, take control. It's Apparently going it to initiate. To make me not feel like the oldest thing walking around base. Thanks, big guys. Thanks for seeing me. No problem. I do what I can. All right, Keisha, what do you got for me? I need you to help me discourage some very bad people from hassling my friend. Oh. Oh. Okay. I can be pretty persuasive. Can I be liberal with my persuasion? <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Thanks. Ray didn't want us to get involved, but I can't just stand by anymore. The oh. Wilkerson's have been taking advantage of people around here for too damn long. The Wilkerson's? Wait a second. Aren't those the guys that didn't get along with anyone? His brother died or what? I, I, I can't... Mm, I think it was like... Old school brothers, family, something up in like a farmhouse that... Yeah, anyway, let's see. Neighborhood unrest. They are way down here. Hmm. Travel with Keisha to the Orchard House. Well, Keisha, we are, will definitely take a run down to the Orchard House. We are right over here, so we're not too far away, which is the benefit of us. So, let's go ahead and check the ammunition status. We have, we are good. Shotgun shells. Pistol. We... Could probably use some more 357, so let's grab some of that real quick before we make our run. I think. Filled up. We are filled up. Keisha, let's go. We have a duty to fulfill. And in fact, we're go. Where's our truck? Um. Hello? Hello? Where's our truck? Guys, this is not funny. Where's our truck? The Brogan Trucker and the Ranger... Why are they over there? What is going on with that? I mean, oh... Where? Like... They're both over here. That doesn't even make sense. Like, I love State of Decay. They did a massive update. And there was so many things on there. They actually did, like, a little live stream event. Which, by itself, is pretty cool. But, I mean, it was... Just that many things. I almost want to... Oh, my God. We picked up a hitchhiker. Got, well, the hitchhiker needs to pay. Think of us more like an Uber and less like a free ride. Times are tough. 
Uh, yeah, that's that's true. Uh, I mean, can can we do a? Where's my? Okay, why are we? There we go. All right, supply run. Should we do that? Well, I mean, the one that we're on right now is a story mission, so it'll hang in there, right? So let's just let's make a run. Up, you know, we got uh, we got gasoline in the back, right? Yes, 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 okay. No! Get out! Get out of the car! Thank you. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and do this side mission real quick. Get some materials. Run back to base, because we're going to have to pass by... Ooh. That was a weird animation. I filled it up, and he jerked himself away from the car. Like, my controller vibrated and everything. Alright, let's just go ahead and take a ride over here. Okay, well, you know. Ooh, that sounded big. I'm glad I'm gonna continue to drive because so why isn't Ray handling this himself? Ah. He prefers to avoid ah. conflict. Uh oh. I say sometimes you just have to draw a line. So like I was saying, there was a massive update that was done, like really massive. There was a ton of different things that were fixed. I mean they spent like, I was watching a little bit of it just to try to get an idea, but there was so much stuff I just kind of tuned out because it was taking so long. I hate to be that way, but it's truth. I mean, they spent eight minutes talking about the very first bug that they fixed, an inventory glitch causing a crash, which is actually the glitch that happened when we first started this game that put us in the disadvantage of ammo and having to redo the mission again clean up the base. So I'm glad that they did the, you know, fix on that, but spending a live stream to talk eight minutes about the one thing was a little bit excessive. All right, so let's run up to this house here and run over big boy. Really? We got a Fanta Dorkoon. What's up? Oh, Mr. It's a ball. Alright. We're gonna have all kinds of fun here. Probably. Oh my god. Oh, did not. He just couldn't get his weapon out fast enough and swing. Yeah. Oh my god. Gotcha. Alright. So. In the darkness, we crawl. In the light, we shine. In times like these, we must stand together. And squash! Those that try to stop us. We stand for justice. The righteousness that everyone needs in their lives. We are the network. And we will steal your shit. Nothing here, <laughs> as expected. So I was looting this tiny little ammo box here, and I saw this little blinking out here. It looks like the play school car out there has a secret. We'll have to go check the secret. This place got clean. it. So that's what we were needing. It's okay, it puts us in a situation where we would like to be. Break. Let's drop that off and right in there. Head back to Jurassic Junction. We did pick up a booklet for utilities, which in our community right now, I think everybody has. Yeah, so police procedure. I don't even know what police procedure does. 
so we can search better and we extract plague samples more often. So I guess that's kind of useful, but at the same time, not, not particularly. Subsistence farming. I don't really even know what that is. I'll be honest with you. Fighting. Okay, so we got endurance, which increased health, trauma accrued more slowly. Close quarter combat, small weapons. I, that we already know that's bad. Uh, sword play, bladed weapons, leg sweep. You know what? We're gonna absolutely do this because Quincy has a bladed weapon, a machine blade. Right? Yes, cutting machine blade. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. In other words, a lawnmower. They have those. Get. Head on back to base now. There's a freak right over there. That is a problem. Well, everybody, we're gonna have a problem. Standing at 15 foot tall and 1,000 pounds, we have the ugly. We have the Indomitable! We have the Juggernaut! So, let's hopefully... God, man, I don't even know. Oh, I just stepped in it. And we stepped in it, we stepped in it, we stepped in it, we stepped in it, we stepped in it. Stepped in it. Ah. Load, please. What is wrong with his head? Oh my god. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Time to reload. I didn't... Oh, jeez, man. What? I should reload. Why is he after her? Come on, big boy. I should reload. Man, he is running out of ammo quick. There we go. No. Oh. Uh, that's bad. Really bad. I should reload. Reload the gun, please. Please, please. Oh, oh my god. Yes, yes. Get it. Get it. Blood Plague Juggernaut. That was... That was tough. On the, well, it was manageable, I'm going to be honest. I mean, I had him in a really good position. He was awfully big and nasty, though. Look, Ray doesn't need to know about what we're doing. Okay. Good deal. Thanks. But I am going to do some trading, trading with you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Mm. Case of chemicals. No, I kind of need all this stuff, so I'm going to do that for right now. I'm just going to... I left you some goodies. Don't everyone thank me at once. Uh, okay. Uh, let's line this sucker back up so we can get the stuff out of it. You know, it really does kind of bother me a little bit that they still haven't fixed, like, the parking bug. Because... Two of our vehicles ended up over on the other side there, but there we go. I've seen the dehydrator we just got, so that puts us. Where's the food? There. Plus ten to the food storage with power. Well, you're in luck because our base, <laughs> we have that. The power part, that we we have it. Now we have the dehydrator. So, let's drop that off. All right, so we're left with a situation now. Do we take Old Faithful or do we go ahead and take ourselves the Jeep? The Jeep has six slots and I believe so does Old Faithful. Yes, yes, yes. Both have six slots. However, I'm feeling the Jeep right now. Really feeling the Jeep. Come on, Keisha. Let's go. Jeepin. First test of our Jeep is can it drive over 
a juggernaut. Look at that flawlessly, it's like it didn't even exist. All right, let's take care of the mission at hand. There's a lot of stuff in the road here. All right, there's something going on with his house. Uh, yes. Ah, here we go. I don't know if it was just the way that it rendered or something, but it didn't look right at first. Hey, Xander. You okay in there? You're cutting it close. He'll be here any minute. What? Sorry, I wanted to get some backup. Quincy, what, what, this what, is my what? friend Xander. Oh, hi, Xander. How you doing? Ke Keisha. Hey, hey, Ke Ke what are you doing? Ke Keisha. Keisha. Cut it, cut it. Oh, God. That was freaking scary. She just booked it. You see that stuff? She was like literally running out like a crazy psychopath. Man. Doing everything we can just to keep ourselves alive, let alone chasing after some AWOL psychopath running off into the nothingness. Oh, he's on the other side of the house, so there's no even point to go inside. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for agreeing to show those Wilkerson's they can't just push us around. Yeah, sure. I got no patience for bullies. Let's put them in their place. It's hard enough staying alive when the blood plague spreads more every day. Wait Maybe for Wilkerson trouble to arrive. Rent just for living in the valley is too much to bear. For rent? Why don't you just leave town? With both bridges out, there's no road to take. And traveling overland means fighting through more plague zombies than I can count. Let's just shut the back door up, shall we? Mm. All right. So. You asked for this. What? Not so fast, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back, stranger. What? We literally have to shoot these guys. Keisha, can you get the hell out of the way? Get get out of the way. You're really bothering me. Oh yeah, I'm gonna mess you up. He's gonna get himself messed up here. Oh, come on in. Come on in, buddy. Come say hi. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck! Okay, you win! Keep your shit, I don't care! Get lost, asshole. Listen, I won't forget what you did. I totally wasted him. Hey. Get. Get on out of here, y'all. Here. Consider those warning shots. The last of it. You can take the lead back with you as a souvenir. You know, in your skull. Well, that was pretty straightforward and simple. I mean, I guess I was expecting a lot worse. Maybe it's what we were trained to expect from the first set of situations. But I will say, Thanks everything being a plague is kind of crazy. Please. Let me give you some good people. Yeah, absolutely. You can take. To trade, uh, I, you come can, on you, back anytime. You can give anything you want. I'll take it. It means a lot that you stood up to the Wilkersons. Most people around here aren't that brave. Or the network. I like Ray, but I wish he were more proactive about helping people. Sometimes a man's got to look out for his own first. I can respect that. That's great. Keisha. Uh, are you healing yourself? Are you serious? Isn't that something else? Isn't that something else? I really like that. So, we've been all the way out here. I mean, can't necessarily leave empty-handed, so let's check some stuff out. Bloater. Well, guys, Don't I want to be close. a little uh, proactive here in the situation. We did get a notice that the plague or should I say infestations Sakisha, what's the deal with Santos 
It seems like there's something he isn't telling me. There are bad things going down around here, even worse than the Wilkerson's. When Ray is ready to talk, he'll give you a call. Until then, just be careful, okay? Ah, uh, shit. That wasn't helpful at all. Uh, she's sitting right next to you. That's not real nice to say. I mean, Keisha's been pretty helpful and nice for us. Alright. There's a freaking plague heart in that thing. Um... Two seconds in plague territory, and I'm already sweating. Why? Why you gotta sweat, man? You're in a car. It's full of gas. It's in good shape, at least decent shape. Is it this place? Yeah, it's the garage. What's the matter? Dorkun got gotcha. you. Oh! 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 From the backside. Let's see how bad they want to get out. All right, guys, I'm about to do something I don't recommend anyone ever to do at any point. It's locked. Ah, uh, get the hell out! Get out! Go! 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 Get in! Oh wait, whoa, whoa, I just literally drove through that guy. You guys seen that, right? Looks like a screamer. Looked like screamers. So it says they're in here, but it's pretty obvious that they're not. So there's one more. It's always one. Got it. Now I know I probably should just head back to base by now. That's a really cool building. I don't remember that one at all. It's definitely seen a fire for sure. But I want to take this opportunity to come down here and knock out the other infestation because there's two. What in the hell is going on here? That house, what is that? What is that? Like legitimately, what is that? No, 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 guys. What in the hell is that? The ground is bubbling. You see this, right? It's like a plague heart, only bigger. What? Plague wall durability. We're not gonna, we're not doing that right now. We will uh, do, uh, uh, get in a car. I don't know what a plague wall is, but the fact that it has three large life bars kind of makes me really concerned, like, a lot. We're just gonna leave and go back to base where it's nice and safe and has dinosaurs. You were a big help today. I'll try to convince Ray to share more information with you about what's going on. I could, I could give you a ride. You don't have to run. Like that's 
quite a distance for you, lady. That's like way up there. And you're... Oh. Run away. Please don't engage them. But... Oh, Keisha. Keisha, 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 Keisha. I was not going to let her taken out, get taken out by those wandering freaking plague monsters. Oh man, good shot. She's crazy good. I should recruit her into my base. Alright, so I'm going to put both vehicles on this side. And let's see what happens, you know, next time. Okay, oh, man. So we learned quite I think a few. The world needs more kindness these days, not less. Thanks, Helena, for your input. I'm glad we have you here to tell me that, because I don't know what I would ever do without your insight. So, everyone, that's gonna be it for this episode. So <laughs> we came across a plague wall. I'm uh, not sure what to expect, but as far as things... Stuff nearby. You want to check it out? No. No. We have five thermite grenades, three frag grenades, some road flares, a molotov, flashbangs aren't really going to help. What is this? Whistling box mines. No. Mm -mm. It's not going to be good enough. We don't have enough. And considering that it's a new form of enemy, I don't really think that we have what it takes right now to attack one. We did, however, take out one of the infestations, discovered some more information, and kind of delved a little bit more into what's going on with the Santos thing. We helped save and fight back against the Wilter... the Wilkersons. Not the Wilters. Y'all hear me now? All right. And we also took down our first plague juggernaut. Which is terrifying on its own because that's not normal. There's nothing here that's normal. So, guys, thank you so much. And I will see you in the next episode. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Click the little bell notification so you can get notified when I get new videos. It's an amazing thing. It's called notifications. You should do it for the channel. Please share with your friends, family, loved ones, everyone. Your worst enemy. Everyone needs a dose of this channel. Send it out there. Get it out there, get some more subscribers, get some more likes, and I'll get some more videos. So, see you next time. Love your faces. Bye-bye!